this wonderful place is called Yangshuo. And today I'm going to try and take a picture of a sunset near the river. When you shoot landscapes in China, there are several things you may need to consider. First, it's a haze because of pollution, which makes all the pictures not that contrasty, not as contrasty as you would like them to be. Uh, second is the population. Wherever you go, there are people, and uh, most often you don't want people to be on the picture. You want to shoot nature. So here comes the third obstacle, is urbanization. Wherever you go, there are roads, uh, a lot of stuff that just just doesn't let you to get this natural, beautiful landscape. So I'm on spot now and I went down the river and I checked a couple of spots to shoot, but all of them were not perfect. And the best spot was just next to our hotel. And although I said that I chose quite a remote place to shoot, there are people going back and forth, like some construction workers trying to get in the frame. So as you can see, no solitude today. There are even more helpers coming. So everybody's trying to give me a good advice of how to shoot this landscape. Ah, uh, that's nice. <laughs> that's not, no, it's not. It's not nice. It's seven o'clock now and there was no beautiful golden hour today. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to catch uh, some piece of blue hour instead. So the, the sun is down now and there is just the last light that I can hope for. So um, I guess I'm spending here 10, 20 more minutes and I'll call it a day. So we're back from our trip to Guilin now and you may be asking yourself where is that beautiful picture he was talking about. Um, the truth is I did not manage to take any beautiful shots. The light didn't happen and probably the location was not perfect. Next day uh, we decided to climb up the moon hill, also a very famous place there uh, in uh, Yangshou district. I read some reviews about that place and they all said well, most of them said that uh, it's not really worth climbing there because the view is very average. But we still decided to give it a try and I took my camera and my tripod just in case, uh, in case if I see something interesting there. So the next day we got on the scooter, went to the moon hill, we entered, left our scooter on the parking lot and it took us only like some 20 minutes to climb up the moon hill. And that was that viewing platform, quite nice. And uh, I put my tripod and took a picture of us uh, in that spot. And I wasn't amazed by the views, that was true. But then uh, we got lucky. Uh, we met a nice girl who actually did not follow the restriction signs and she climbed all the way up the hill. I don't have the video of that this time only this amazing picture. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more behind the scenes videos and visit my website to see more pictures. Bye for now.